Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Imperfect Marketing. I'm your host, Kendra Corman. And with Halloween quickly approaching, we're going to be talking about leveraging Halloween lessons for upcoming holidays. We've got Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, and more, right? So I want to talk to you guys about how to leverage holidays for better marketing. Again, We've got one week left till Halloween. If you didn't do any preparation, there still might be time to work it in depending on what you've got on your plate. But you want to think about, you know, is there a special event? Is there a special webinar? Is there um, a special get together that you can go ahead and leverage and highlight to create some better marketing? Okay. So you always want to do a little bit of a postmortem after any campaign. Think about what worked, what didn't, and any key takeaways so that you can apply it the next time. Some questions to ask yourself about any campaigns that you look at. You want to set some engagement goals, right? You want to have some engagement mechanisms metrics. Did it engage your target audience? Did they attend? Did they sign up? If it's a special webinar or a special event, you know, how did that all come together? And then of course, you always want to know the ROI, return on investment, whether it's time or money, there's an investment. So you want to make sure that you're getting a return for that investment. And then is there any feedback that you got? So again, always taking a look at what worked, what didn't work, key takeaways, but setting engagement goals, tracking your ROI, and then of course, noting any feedback. So as we're getting ready, again, really close to Halloween. So let's go ahead and just say you do some social posts if you haven't planned anything else. But as you plan for Thanksgiving, this is a great time to think about ways to appreciate your clients. So you can do thank you notes, small gifts, um, maybe even some social posts or share the different things that they're working on. You can think about looking to promote Thanksgiving in terms of content themes, right? I mean, you can do some themes on your blog, your podcast, or anything else that you're working on, your email newsletter. It can be focused around gratitude, giving, community, right? Because those are the themes of Thanksgiving. And you can leverage that for all of the different things that you're working on. And then think about some special promotions. You know, again, what is there something that would appeal to people? I know that in a lot of my Thanksgiving emails, I try not to include any asks or any requests or major calls to action. I usually try to include something along the lines of a recipe or, again, something that shows thanks. It doesn't necessarily always try to sell, um, but that's just on Thanksgiving. That doesn't mean I can't be doing things around Thanksgiving or leading up to Thanksgiving that would result in business, okay, or revenue. As you look to gear up for Christmas, right, Christmas, Hanukkah, things like that, think about gift guides. Are there some gifts that you recommend that people get for themselves or their clients or things that you can highlight? Think about your holiday cards. I know that a lot of people are Merry Christmas people and there's a lot of people that are Happy Holidays people. I skip both and go straight to New Year's just so that I don't have to play and have any issues with that. But you might want to think about sending out holiday cards to clients and partners like referral partners. People do not get that much mail. I know that we feel that we get a ton of mail, but the amount of mail that we get does not add up to the amount of email we get. And so sending a physical card at a certain time of year is a great way to do that. Again, a lot of people send happy holiday cards, so it might be in your best interest to pick a different time of year to send a card to. I mean, you can think about sending cards at Valentine's Day or um, times when the clocks are changing, different things like that, that could make you stand out and keep you top of mind for people. And then, of course, you always want to be working in your year-end reviews and incorporating those into your holiday strategies. So when you're thinking about planning and prepping for upcoming holidays, I want you to, again, think about who your audience is. What are they dealing with? What are they struggling with? 
where are the opportunities for you to give them value? Okay, think about your budget. Budget is important. And then timing, okay, because you definitely want to make sure that you're starting any campaigns early enough to be able to leverage them to the max. So as we head towards Halloween, hopefully you have some things planned that might be fun. If not, don't worry. There's plenty of holidays coming up here. So make sure you take time to pause and think about how you might be able to leverage those in your business to grow your marketing. Thanks so much for tuning in to another Imperfect Marketing Brief. If you learned anything, it would really help me out if you would rate or subscribe. I look forward to seeing you on another episode of Imperfect Marketing, especially considering next week's is Halloween, where I'm going to have a trick or treat spooktacular with marketing tips. So be sure to tune in next Tuesday. Have a great rest of your week.